Hey guys, what's going on? This is Always back with another video of Java Central Training Series. So in the last video, I've explained to you guys what is polyformism and what are the concepts to explain what is method of writing. So we're going to look at the example, then I will explain that to you guys. All right. So the first thing what we're going to do here is I'm going to click on packages. All right. And then create a few classes. So let's create a class name. Let's say bike. Okay. And then we're going to create another class called bike2. So let's say bike2. Okay, so now we have two classes and a main class. So let's go to the bike class. And then here in this class, let's say I will make a method here. So I'll just type void and I'll say run. All right. And then add a code block. Okay, add a code block here. And I will say uh, bike1. So S out and then say bike bike speed is and uh, let's say 60 kilometers per hour. All right. Well, we can define a variable as well. So I'll type bike is equal to 60 semicolon. And then here I can use concatenation to display my bike speed. So let's say bike. All right, so we have one variable which has an integer data type. All right, and then we have the method name run in bike uh, bike.java. All right, so let's go to uh, I'm gonna copy this code, okay, and I'm going to paste it here. All right, so I'm going to paste that here. All right, so one thing we're going to do here is that we're going to make this class a subclass of the bike class. All right, so here you type extends bike. All right, so now this is a super class and that's a subclass, right? And then in that uh, bike two, which is uh, having all the method and variables available to this class. So I can change the, let's say 70. All right. So now I have a uh, same method name run. Okay. And I have both method name. So if I go back to my main dot Java and here I will say, I will type, <clears throat> let's say I'll use a subclass. So bike two. Okay. And I will say OBJ is equal to new. And then I will use bike two. Okay. All right. So now, let's say if i print out the run method if i call the run method right so let's say obj dot run okay so can you guys give it a guess that is it going to print out 60 uh the bike speed is 60 60 or it's going to print out bike speed is 70. okay this is a subclass and this is a super class all right which has the same method all right so if i go and run the program very simple concept all right so if i run the program now it's just taking it a bit longer as you can see that it's printing bike speed is 70 instead of printing bike speed is 60 here all right so it is called a method overriding while well, java compiler basically look for the recent statement so the recent method we did is this one right because that is we're calling uh, bike two, all right, and then the the first method we have is a uh, run method which belongs to this class, and then it will go and look for the method available in the bike .java class. So that's why it will print out uh, this class. Okay, so basically that's a subclass and that's a bike class. So that was a quick tutorial about a method of writing. And if you have any question, let me know in the comments below. It's very simple. You just go look for the first method of uh, the class you're calling. All right. So it's very simple, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you have any question, let me know in the comments below. And you can follow me on Twitter at OasisMirza01. Thanks for watching again. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.